Hello guys, Lego Master Reviews here, and today I'll be showcasing every single minifigure from the new Indiana Jones Wave 2023. There was three sets, including this wave, that being the $35 Fighter Plane Chase, the $40 Escape from the Lost Tomb, and the $150 Temple of the Golden Idol. All three of these sets are absolutely amazing, and I have reviews for them up on the channel if you want to check that out. But yeah, that being said, two of the sets are obviously based off Raiders of the Lost Ark, and the other one was based off The Last Crusade. Um, the two best Indiana Jones movies in my opinion, and yeah, we're supposed to get a fourth one, which was supposed to be the Temple of Doom, but that got cancelled or delayed, there was a le leaked picture of it, um, I don't know where that went, uh, ho hopefully it comes, but, I mean, we don't know at this point, but yeah, that being said, all these minifigures from this wave were amazing, and yeah, so we'll start off with the minifigures from the fighter plane chase, and here we have Indiana Jones in his last crusade appearance. This minifigure was exclusive to this set, mainly because, because of that torso printing with the tie, and it's very accurate to the movie. Um, and again, he has that great, great face print as well as leg printing, and that incredible hat and hair molded combo, which this is just amazing. And yeah, then great back um, torso printing. He does have a back face print, but mine came scuffed out of the box immediately, unfortunately. Um, I did request like a replacement part from Lego, but they haven't even sent that over yet, so that's kind of, that kind of sucks, um, but hopefully it does come. Um, but yeah, again, amazing minifigure, and this face is also just super accurate. Love this minifigure a lot, and it's just a very, very accurate and cool one. Here, next minifigure in that set was Henry Jones, his father. And yeah, as you can see, great torso printing, as well as a very, very accurate face print. He has this very awesome hat, as you can see. And yeah, and then he also has this amazing um, book piece that is printed. Obviously, it's his journal from the movie. Um, and yeah, very awesome, this minifigure, again, he doesn't have a back face print because it would kind of pop through, like, underneath the hat. But again, yeah, great back printing. And yeah, I just really like this minifigure, he's also very, very accurate to the movie. Here we have the, um, fighter plane pilot, and as you can see, he's great torso printing as well. His face is pretty generic, but you don't really get to see the, the pilot's face in the movie, so yeah, I don't think it's really that big of a deal. No back face printing, but yeah, and then he comes with this awesome goggle piece, and, like, helmet. He does have back torso printing, though. Yeah, just all around, it's just an awesome minifigure, um, detail-wise, and yeah, it's very cool. And that's all of the three minifigures from the $35 fighter plane chase, so then I'll take a look at the minifigures from the $40 Escape from the Lost 2. So the first minifigure I got in that set was Indiana Jones, um, and yeah, he's very awesome. This is my personal favorite Indiana Jones from the wave. Um, I just really like this one, even though technically none of his parts are, like, exclusive to the set and, like, the hands, but you can just get that off any other minifigure, um, that has those colored hands, but yeah. Amazing face print. I really like this face more than the other one. It's smiling. That's why it was kind of unfortunate for my um, f other face to be misprinted on the side. But as you can see, great face print. I absolutely love that face print. And yeah, that one's very good as well and very accurate. But then he has awesome back printing, as well as he includes a satchel piece. And yeah, and then great leg printing as well with his holster. I love the hat and hair molded combo. That's just absolutely perfect. And his amazing weapon. Again, I really like the gloves. That just really sells the minifigure for me. It's just very accurate to the movie. And yeah. Overall, I just really love this one. It's my personal favorite minifigure from the wave. Next up here, we have Marion Ravenwood, and she's very awesome as well. Um, great printing on her, and yeah, the face print is just so accurate. They absolutely nail just every face print in this wave. It's just so amazing, but yeah, this one in particular is just very accurate to her. And then the other one's like a more screaming face. It's, um, it works for this, like the part where like the, the mummy pops out. But yeah, great, amazing back printing, as well as you can see, he has dual molded legs. So that's very neat, and it carries around these sides, and then yeah, it pops up through here, because it's supposed to look like your dress is ripped. And yeah, it's just very awesome, again, because of this awesome hairpiece, as well as a really cool, like, torch to this car of the snakes. And yeah, really like this set, and I really like this minifigure. The other two minifigures we got were Sala, as you can see. He's very awesome. Um, he doesn't have leg printing, unfortunately, but he does have this great torso print, as well as this really cool hat. I really like that face print. It's just very unique and very accurate to him. And yeah, again, just very, very cool. You can see back, um, no back face printing. Um, I do think you probably could have put a back face print, but I still think, still think it looks very cool. Yeah, I think great back torso printing. And yeah, just this is awesome minifigure, and it's very accurate to what he looked like in the movie. Next up here we have the Mummy, which was a great inclusion. I'm pretty sure the the one that really got like, scared in the becomes scary kind of part was more like skeletonized, and like it looked more like a skeleton. This is still just a great minifigure. But yeah, this is still just a great minifigure nonetheless. I really like this one. It just didn't have to be in the set, and I'm really glad that they included it still. Yeah, great um, leg printing, torso printing. 
Great face print. Yeah, if you ever build like a Halloween mock or anything, this minifigure is just perfect. Or you just want a mummy for just one of your collection, this is a great minifigure. And yeah, great printing on them. Um, and yeah, very awesome nonetheless. It does look like some of the minifigures still. But anyway, and then we got the $150 Temple of the Golden Idol, which was probably the best set of the entire wave. One of the best Lego sets just ever. And yeah, it's, it's very awesome. But yeah, there was four minifigures in that set, and we'll take a look at Indiana Jones from that set first. This one was exclusive because of that face print, as you can see. He has a, a kind of a smiling face, which is very cool to get. And on the back, you have a more like disturbed, like more like this upset face with those amazing spider web detailing. That's just awesome. I really like the detailing on there. You can even see a spider on his head. And again, he has that um, torso printing that's coming to all the other, or just the other Indiana Jones minifigure. He also comes with a satchel as well as amazing leg printing. And also included with him is his iconic whip. And then the um, pretty iconic uh, golden idol. And that's very cool. He also comes with the bag of sand, which you can I have displayed um, over here on my temple set. You can't see it, but yeah, it's over there. Um, yeah, but this is just an awesome minifigure and another just great one. And I really love the head and face printing and just everything about him. Here we have Bullock, and he's very cool. Or Bellock, Bellock. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. But yeah, as you can see, he comes with the same like hat mold piece that um, Indy's father does. And then he has a great face print again. They just nailed it out of the park with all these face prints. It's just very accurate. And then, yeah, great torso printing as well. No leg printing. I think you probably could have done some good leg printing with him, but they didn't include that, unfortunately. And on the back, you have some really great printing with the sweat stains and stuff. And yeah, it's just very accurate to the movie. And his accessory was like this pistol, as you can see. And yeah, he's just an awesome minifigure, and I really like this one a lot. Next up, we have Satipo. Um, he's awesome as well. Um, it's very accurate to the movie again, no leg printing, but yeah, the legs are accurate to the color of the pants he had. And then he has this very cool, um, hair piece, as you can see, as well as a great face print. And again, it, um, this character was played by Alfred Molina, the guy that plays Doc Ock in the Spider-Man movies. So yeah, if you ever want to make a custom like Doc Ock, this is great for that. But yeah, and then he has that face where he has, like, the spikes in him, you know, where Indy finds him dead. But yeah, as you can see, this is very accurate, and I really love the, um, the back printing with the spiders, which is this really awesome. Love the detailing on that. Super cool. And again, then he has the expression where Indy was grabbing the golden idol. And yeah, this again, Lego nailed, absolutely nailed it out of the parks. All these faces, they're just so accurate. And Lego's just really gone a long way with their face prints. And then he comes with this little torch piece as well. He's just awesome. And the last minifigure from the 2023 Indiana Jones wave is the Hovitos Warrior. He's very awesome as well. He comes with the same hair piece that Satipo has. And then he has this great face print, as you can see, and turning him around. He also has a more angry expression. And yeah, and then great back printing, as well as um, front torso printing. I really like all the detailing on him. And yeah, and then he also gets some great leg printing. And yeah, just overall, in his accessory, is a bow and arrow. So yeah, that's very awesome. And overall, he's just a really great and detailed minifigure. But yeah, very dope and just awesome minifigures all around. I really like them all. There's so much great detailing, and again, Lego just really nailed it out of the park with all these face prints. They're all just so amazing, and yeah. Again, if you're an Indiana Jones fan, or you're just a fan of just Indiana Jones in general, I'd highly recommend these sets. They're amazing, and if you don't like Indiana Jones, there's great face prints for custom minifigures. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a similar video to this out for the new Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 wave with all the minifigures, taking a, look at, a closer look at those. So yeah, if you want to check that out, go ahead. It's up on the channel. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and clicking on this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day.